Hello everyone, in this video we'll be going through some settings to get the best possible performance on mobile. Fluffy is designed to work both on mobile and uh, desktop, but most of the examples that we included are meant for desktop PCs, uh, consoles or for filmmaking and uh, are designed to look good close up. So, but that's probably not what you want when you're working with mobile, since you need to get the best possible performance out of the product. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, I got the little dude example scene loaded here. Um, that comes with Fluffy. And I'll just select the little dude mesh by clicking this button. That also selects the little dude. And now we have all the grooming parameters um, ready. So what this uh, this groom has two layers. This second layer here is just some some scrapes and a detail layer. So you can just go ahead and delete that one by clicking the trash icon there. And then it also has some clumps that we don't need now. And as you can see, that changes the look of the fur quite a bit. And what it really just boils down to is how many polygons you have on the screen and what kind of material you use. So, um, to decrease the polygon count, the most important setting is the hair strand spacing. So, if we increase this to something like 006. Um, see that the fur is way less dense and it looks a bit crappy. <laughs> so uh, to fix that we can increase the width of the strands. So now you see that we've changed the appearance of the fur quite a bit. It's a, a more stylus look. Uh, and if we go down to the strand shape curve we can change the shape of the strands bit to, to make it look better. Right, so this already is way way cheaper to render but there there's more that we can do. We can go down to the card mesh properties and decrease the subdivision count and set it all the way down to something like 2. Um, now you see that the polygon count is down to 58,000 uh, vertices and so we're getting closer to something that works uh, well on mobile. So yeah, I guess this doesn't look too different from the previous groom. Um, of course it depends on the distance to the camera. Um, yeah, but the, the, the shader that we're using here um, is a Marshner shader, so on mobile maybe you want something that's a bit more uh, like a tune shader. Um, so in the URP uh, version we have um, a tune shader included, so in the refer URP and then URP strands tune, but um, I've already already have some materials prepared here so I'll just select the lude and drag the fur the new fur material onto him or her I'm not sure <laughs> and then we can also add it to the fur render that's attached to our little dude so drag this onto the material slot we get a completely different look. When you're using a tune shader it's recommended to set the normals all the way to the left to so that the strands get the same normals as the source mesh and now it's starting to to look very good and it looks very different from from the look we had before. So we got some more materials prepared here we can drag the horns, uh, the material onto the horns and we also have, have 
a new UI material. So we can assign that one. Yeah, so we have a lot fewer polygons. We have a cheaper material. So now things will uh, run a lot better on mobile. And it's, yeah, in my opinion, this looks very good also. So there are more things that we can do to get better performance. Um, what we've done now, uh, up until now, has been to actually change the groom, but um, there are some settings that we can change on the fur renderer as well, because the fur renderer has uh, pretty much the rendering uh, information that's uh, happening uh, runtime. So we can, to get better performance for the physics, like the best thing is to actually just disable movement but then you're not gonna get any physics so that's probably not what you want but you can also decrease the constraint iterations so yeah a lower value there is going to give you better performance but the physics may be less accurate um, and then yeah I'll just Turn, turn off the wind for, for this demo and one important thing to to maybe disable is the collide with source mesh so what that does is it pretty much creates an SDF collider of, of the source mesh that the hairs collide with at, uh, at runtime that can be a bit expensive on mobile um, on Android, it doesn't work at all. Uh, it works on iOS, um, so but keep in mind that that may decrease the performance a bit. So it's maybe a good idea to just turn it off. And then, yeah. So I guess that's pretty much the settings here. Let's just hit play and see what happens. that's this looks pretty good on mobile we actually don't need the collider as we see since since the source mesh and the strands have pretty much the same material um, we may want to increase the stiffness a little bit yeah so I guess that's it for the mobile optimizations. Um, you can also use card-based rendering for uh, instead of the strand-based version. That may be faster, but um, in my experience, the approach we're using right now with uh, pretty few polygons is can actually be better than uh, than card-based rendering, even though carbis rendering has fewer polygons since the carbis rendering often has to do all the alpha clipping and stuff um, yeah strand based isn't necessarily slower I guess that's it for this video uh, thank you very much for for watching I'll link the description to a car based um, fluffy tutorial in the description below um, and yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Come back for more content later on. So, thank you.